The game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Boston Red Sox and the Portland Sea Dogs. Matthew Kent, a Texas-born left-hander, gets the starting nod. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, this guy has a four-pitch repertoire, right? And those are a lot of nice options to have. You can go hard soft. You can go in and out. And any time you have four pitches, if you can throw them for strikes, you have the big advantage. Striding into the box, Andrew Benintendi. He will lead this one off, off today. The 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 left Andrew. First pitch of the at-bat. Here's a slider that's inside 1-0. First pitch, one o'clock. The pitch. Very nice afternoon, high skies and 77 degrees at game time. The one one. Misses for the second ball. Two and two. Hit down the line at first. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. That accepted. The third base. Rafael Devers. Rafael Devers, the next to bat. First offering on its way. Swing and he pops him up. But this will land untouched. The wind up and the 0 1. Fly ball heading for the alley. And that'll get down out there for extra bases. And he'll pull into second with one away. This is the type of production they were expecting from this guy when he came to the majors a couple of years back. He looks really at ease at the plate, and that relaxed swing is getting some really good results. Good example on that double there. Always great to see a young player blossoming. Here's Xander Bogarts now. Drives it out to deep right center field. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. The relay throw. And he is in there with an RBI triple. Well, there's one way to get our first that's one of the game across. Good hustle there on an RBI triple. And they're in good shape to possibly make it 2 nothing with another base hit here. Here's J.D. Martinez. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. Oh, and one count and the pitch. Bogarts takes his lead at third with one away. Two and one. They're going to probably stay away from this guy. He's got so much power. You don't want to miss over the heart of the plate. But I think when pitchers try to be too cute on that outside corner, 
They might leak one a little bit inside, and this is where that guy would jump on. Three and one to Martinez. Not a good spot to be in right now. Pitcher's falling behind in the count with a guy up that hits really well with runners in scoring position. And that misses ball four. So with one out, that'll at least set up the double play possibility here that could get them out of the inning. He's definitely stumbled out of the starting blocks here in the first, giving up a couple of base knocks in that walk. First innings are often some of the toughest for a starting pitcher. Striding in for Boston, Mitch Moreland. And the Red Sox with an opportunity for more damage here in the first. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Bounced softly in front of the plate. Nowhere to go as he's tagged out between third and home. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. Next up for the Red Sox, Michael Chavis, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. From the stretch. Two down, runners at first and second. Ball one. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's two and one. Has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. Here's a big swing and a miss on the fastball. Two and two. This pitcher better get that ball down because he doesn't have enough velocity to live up in the zone with that fastball. If he continues to miss there, he's not going to get a few of these back. Full count now. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. This one is fouled away up to the concourse area. Here's the payoff pitch. Drilled right back up the middle, and that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And the run's going to come in to score from second as they grab a two to nothing lead now. Boy, what a battle there, Dero. Several pitch that, at that, bat right there. He threw everything but the kitchen sink, and he was still able to get an RBI base hit. And Dan, I can't tell you, the longer the ABs go, usually, I'll tell you, you get in that swing mode where if he throws the rosin bag, you're pulling the trigger on it. Wait for him to settle in his zone and not come outside of it and end up getting a knock. So here now is Jackie Bradley. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. I think this inning could have far-reaching effects in this game. They're really making him work, and unless he dials it in, it's probably going to limit how deep he goes into this game. Looking to minimize the damage here. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. This is in the air out to right field. Duran will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. So two runs on three hits, no errors, and two left. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. The Red Sox on top, two to nothing. Eduardo Rodriguez is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Boston. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're going to get a chance to look at a guy that uh, he's a little bit up and down throughout points of his career. A career ERA just over four. When he's good, he can be really good. And when he's bad, well, let's just say he can be pretty bad at times. But it'll be interesting to see which one we see. He's a little bit of Jekyll and Hyde. Hopefully he's going to be a little bit more Jekyll than Hyde in this one here today. Here's the first pitch to him. Jaron Duran is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning 1 and 0. Oh. 
good zip on that one as he just throws it by him for strike one. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. Now here's the pitch. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. Oh, and this ball is absolutely blasted. High and deep. And out of here. And I mean by plenty. That ball was crushed. Solo shot to right center as they cut the lead in half. It's two to one now. Not a great way to start on the road as a pitcher. Give up a bomb to the leadoff hitter. At the plate now, Nick Lavello. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Here's a swing and a miss, one and one. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. With how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. At the plate, Luke Tendler, as he lays off a fastball too low for ball one. Strength. Here's a pitch swung on and missed one and two now. The pitch. Line towards center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the that inning. The second baseman. What? Coming to the plate now, Brett Netzer looking to get on base and keep this first inning alive. Now here's the pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Ben Intendi in pursuit. He tracks it down and that will end the inning. But not before they're able to at least get one back on the solo home run. Second inning coming up and this is now a two to one ball game. Second inning set to go. Digging in now, Christian Vasquez. The catcher, Christian Vasquez. First pitch of the at bat on its way. Oh, that's off the plate. Well, that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch, it's unhittable. Ball two now. Hey, after those two breaking balls missed, you have to be sitting on a fastball right here. Now the 2-0. High in the air out towards shallow right. Duran is in a few steps as he takes it for the first down. Batting up. The right fielder, number five. 
Kevin Pillar. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up a man who's a human highlight reel defensively, Kevin Pillar. He's ready. Here's the first offering. And he'll lay off a fastball here in a good spot, but rule the ball 1 0. That evens it up one and one. And now pitch on the way. One out, nobody on. Still one and two. Here's a ball out towards straightaway center field. Center fielder on the run. He tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Now back, left field, Andrew Benintendi. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting Andrew Benintendi. Second appearance here. He grounded out to start the ball game. First pitch on its way. In the air out to straightaway left. Tendler is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. So they breeze through this half of the inning. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Boston's out in front, two to one. Coming to the plate now, Michael Osinski, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half the of the second. Eight. First pitch coming, here it is. And a check swing here, but he clearly went around on a pitch that would have been a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Nope. And he watches one dip low and inside for a ball, one and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Swing and a miss, and that'll get a groan from the home supporters here. One away. Pitching 101 is changing location and upsetting the hitter's timing. You do that, and everything's going to be fine. In that strikeout, he never threw the same pitch twice in a row, and he won the battle because of it. In now, Josh Tobias. And he'll take a changeup here for strike one. Bases are empty, one man out. A swinging strike, and now it's 0 and 2. And he wastes a fastball high there, 1 and 2. Hey, that 0 2 fastball wasn't even close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. The 1 2. Hit out towards second. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. You don't see that too much in today's game. Most guys, it doesn't matter what the count is. They're looking to line up, drive the ball out of the ballpark. Not the case here. Good two-strike adjustment, able to punch a ground ball through a hole for a single. Into the box now, Tristan Casas as he lifts it in the air to right field. Pilar is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Batting in. The pitcher. Austin. Striding in, Austin Wright. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. Oh, and he breaks, and they've got him picked off. And he'll be called out at second and a tough way to end it here as this ball game is over. Well, as a former pitcher, you know I love these low-scoring games as opposed to those slugfests. 
This was like a throwback game when home runs weren't so common and pitching was really dominant. No complaints here. Pitching and defense game two to one the final score this afternoon. The Bo Sox jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Eduardo Rodriguez takes home the win. Matthew Kent only completed two innings and is charged with the loss. So that's it for us this afternoon. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Pleszak, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, log on to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ballgame. For the victorious Boston Red Sox, two runs on three hits. No errors. They left two men on base.